Hi everyone, this is Chris Gomez, and today I want to talk to you about obtaining Visual Studio Express, which is the free edition of Visual Studio. Uh, Microsoft has several product, Visual Studio products. They obviously have uh, what you might use at work. For example, I'm a professional developer, so here I have Visual Studio Ultimate 2013. Uh, it's obviously the top product that they have with every single feature that they talk about, um, but this is not free. and one of the things I like to focus on is you might be a developer just starting out and you want to build apps for the web or maybe for the desktop or maybe for the Windows stores and you know it's nice that Microsoft has some free options for you and some of our third parties that we might talk about are also gonna have some free options for you and I like to focus on that so that you feel like you can get started just with your time and with the hardware that you have and not worrying about having to spend more on products that you uh, you know you aren't sure how to use yet or have a lot of learning to do so let's take a look at how you would find Visual Studio Express it turns out that Visual Studio Express uh, unfortunately in my opinion has become a little fragmented uh, there was a time when you just downloaded Visual Studio Express and that was the end of it uh, when I just type in Visual Studio Express 2013 into Google that fragmentation becomes apparent very quickly you can see here that the second returned link uh, says download Microsoft Visual Studio Express 2013 for Windows. It's for Windows Desktop. Uh, here's another link that's saying Visual Studio Express 2013 for Web. The link that you really want is the one that came up in this ad. www.visualstudio.com slash downloads. I actually already have that loaded in another tab. So you can see here visualstudio.com slash downloads. And the first set of downloads is for the paid versions of Visual Studio but if you keep scrolling down you'll see Visual Studio Express and here here is everything okay here's an addition for building web applications here's an addition that's for building store applications very important because you come down to the next one this addition is for building traditional desktop applications and um, so there can be a little confusion if you pick this edition for Windows or this edition for Windows Desktop and also the confusion that when you download this you might think well I have Windows so isn't this the one I want when you want to build websites so unfortunately there is um, this fragmentation that you have to be aware of today I want to get started by downloading the version for Windows stores so that's just a choice I'm going to make today. You could come here and pick any one of these and the installation experience will be the same. The uh, accordion opens up and shows you that you have a few installation options. You can use the web installer, which is this installer here. It's just a very small executable that will go ahead and start downloading files from the web. The second option that you have is to get the full DVD. You can get that DVD if you prefer to have an ISO on hand that you could either put on a DVD or perhaps on a USB drive or a USB uh, you know, thumb drive of any kind. And then in Windows 8, it's so easy to mount ISOs. Um, you know, the, the need for DVDs is definitely going away. You could take this download if you like. I'm gonna go ahead and start the web installation. And here, you know, Microsoft's giving you the chance to try Ultimate 2013 on your machine you can do this. It's a 180 day trial. At the end of that trial uh, it won't function anymore unless you put in a valid product key. Uh, and again I want to focus on the free options that are available in the Microsoft ecosystem for people who want to get started building all kinds of applications. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click Express 2013 for Windows. And in the uh, Google Chrome world the download gets manifested here and I'm going to go ahead and just say open which is the same as running it. I could also uh, real quick I'll show you I could show it in the folder and it got downloaded to my downloads folder and I could just run it from here but let me just go ahead and open it. Um, it says that uh, it's going to install Express with Blend and uh, this could be a little blast from the past for some of you folks who when WPF came out Microsoft was promoting Blend well, Blend lives, except that now it's free. I agree to the license terms to get my install, and then do I want to join the Experience Improvement Program? 
Um, I've clicked this on and off over the years. I haven't seen any issue either way. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on this time, and I'll let the installation start. See, i got to get through user account control here. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and let that go. And this is going to take a little while to download and install the, the 400 megs. You can see that it's OK for me to, to install this on a machine that I've already got Visual Studio on. So, you know, it's going ahead and, and doing this installation. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fast forward in the video, and we'll get to the end of this and get to the point where you can see me having installed and running Visual Studio Express for the first time. So Visual Studio Express is uh, done. I can actually go ahead and just click launch right from the installation. And you do not have to sign in to Visual Studio. Uh, you can click this not now, maybe later. I'm going to go ahead and sign in and use my Microsoft account here. And the first time you use Visual Studio, you, you do have to wait through a preparing for first use. And here it is, Visual Studio Express 2013 for Windows. When I say file new project, the kinds of projects I can create with this edition of Visual Studio Express are apps in JavaScript for the Windows Store, Visual Basic, Visual C++. So this is very clearly a Windows Store edition of the product. So like I said, we've got ourselves a free environment where we can build Windows Store apps, and that's going to serve us very well in future videos. So thanks for joining, and hope you can go get the version of Visual Studio Express you want and get it installed. You know where to find it. Go do it.